guys I'm gonna talk about uh, finding your reason why you want to quit smoking when I first hear, heard that uh, sentence you gotta find your why you want to quit smoking it didn't make any sense to me you know I didn't really give it much thought but today this morning something changed so I went on Google and uh, I found this article on health.com with like a bunch of reasons to quit smoking and uh, this really made me think differently you know so I'm gonna read a couple of these to uh, make you think also you won't have to pay more and more and more each year you'll inhale fewer germs once you quit you'll find it amusing that tobacco smells like shit smoking can cramp your style in the bedroom you'll sleep better cool bonuses at work Non-smokers have stronger bones. You won't have to look at the anti-smoking messages. Your chances of having a cold will go down. You'll drink less coffee. You'll need less medicine. You'll be less likely to burn down your house. You will save a lot of money. You will decrease risks of heart disease and attack. You'll be less likely to die from brain tumor. You'll, your, your teeth will be brighter. You'll have less wrinkles. You'll cut the risk of acid reflux. You'll enjoy food more. You'll preserve your sense of smell. You will avoid yellow fingers. Your walls will stay the same color. You'll get less depression. You would actually get work done. No more round holes in the, on the clothes. You would save water. Spend less time at the dentist. Save money on breath freshing. People will nag you less. You will have less coughing. Your wounds will heal better. You'll get better sperm and normal menopause. Earn more money and get better jobs. Eat more, get pumped less, get more pleasure from life, be indoors more often, be more kissable, you'll stop being horrible influence on children, your mouth will be better off, you look better, you'll preserve your eyesight, if you quit, people around you can quit, no more heavy breathing, be warmer in the winter, you laugh more, and you live longer. So, I realized something today, this morning. When I, whenever I feel like uh, craving for a cigarette, for like smoking, craving to smoke tobacco, there's a method I discovered myself on myself when I was quitting alcohol it's like when I start thinking about uh, you know drinking alcohol I, I instantly go on thinking about the next thing so I'm gonna try and use this method of like mind thought thinking manipulation with smoking see how it goes uh, I guess you know when I was drinking coffee like a moment ago I had a thought about uh, smoking smoking a cigarette but you know I just what I did was I didn't take it too seriously it's like uh, think about comparing um, this uh, to like uh, you know the need like 
imagine you, you're in the middle of a street uh, and you feel like you want to eat some chocolate or you feel like you want to drink uh, a coffee. Now, what, what do you do when you, um, when you realize you can't, you know, eat chocolate or you can't drink coffee? You move on to the next thought, right? So you don't get anxious about it, you don't uh, get angry, just keep thinking about other things. So I'm gonna, I'm, it worked for quitting alcohol, so I'm, I'm th I think it will work for quitting smoking too. Smoking on its own wouldn't be that bad if it weren't for that goddamn nicotine in it, you know. So it is gonna feel like shit uh, after a after not smoking for a couple of days for a moment, I guess, because uh, I've never actually succeeded in uh, not smoking more than three days. But there was a time I was in uh, in a juvenile prison once for a year. And I did manage to not smoke for a year, but as soon as I got out of there, I started smoking more than ever. So that didn't work. But this time, I'm mentally prepared. Because I don't actually want to uh, smoke. Back then, when I was in juvenile prison, I wanted to smoke. But now, I don't want to smoke. Because it's a fucking huge waste of money. You know, all smoking gives me, it doesn't even give me any pleasure anymore. Okay, we can all agree, as smokers, that the first cigarette is like fucking amazing or whatever. Right, after a long uh, break of, you know, whatever, not smoking. But the first cigarette in the morning isn't even pleasurable anymore. There's no benefit from uh, smoking that cigarette, you know, where's the pleasure, and uh, so that's, that's my reason why I want to quit smoking, I don't get any pleasure from it, it's a huge waste of money, that's why I made that last video about, you know, switching to smoking menthol, not menthol, mint, Mint leaves, um, same thing pretty much. Because you know, it's not, mint leaves are not addictive. And the menthol in the mint leaves is probably good for the lungs, you know. Yeah, it's just something that made me think, you know. There's no point in smoking anymore. So why do it at all? Because, and when I think about when I get a craving to smoke a cigarette or like to smoke tobacco, you know, I just let it do, do its thing in my brain and try and move on to, to the next thought, the thoughts. Sure, I might feel like shit. When it comes down to it, I've had worse hangovers than the goddamn COVID-19 virus. So feeling like shit is kind of like been there for me my whole life. So I know I can take it. And you probably can too. So if you're serious about quitting smoking, that's what I think it means, you know, when people say the sentence, you gotta find your why, you gotta find the reason why you wanna quit smoking. Thanks for watching, if you liked the video, share it to your smoker friends. And leave a comment once in a while. Thanks for watching, guys.
Peace.